Good morning. This is Mrs. Serio, and welcome to BTV Morning Announcements Home Edition. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020, also known as Thoughtful Thursday. The weather today in Myerstown is a mix of clouds and sun, with a high of 60 degrees and a real feel of 65 degrees. Special activities. Here are some special activities that all took place on this day, April 23rd, in history. In the year 1972, Apollo 16 astronauts explore the moon's surface. And in the year 1992, McDonald's opens its first fast food restaurant in China. Thoughtful Thursday. I know you are all very thoughtful people. I see evidence of that every single day at school. It's easy to be thoughtful when we are around many people and have multiple opportunities every day to think of others. But what about now? What about when we're separated from most of the people that we normally interact with? The thoughtfulness doesn't have to stop just because you're not physically together with other people. Now more than ever, people may be relying on simple acts of kindness to get them through their day. Here are five ways to practice thoughtfulness from home. Challenge yourself to see how many of these acts of kindness you can complete this weekend. Number one, write a thank you note. While the option to work from home is a possibility for some people, there are others who have no choice but to go to work. Your postal worker is one of those people. Showing up daily to to deliver your mail, and your packages amid the coronavirus pandemic. A great way to show them you're grateful is by leaving a thank you note in your mailbox. Number two, clean a shared living space. Before you began spending so much time indoors, you may not have noticed how badly the dirtiest places in your home needed a little bit of love. But now it might be more obvious since you're spending pretty much all of your time within the same four walls. If that's the case, You can show the people you live with that you care about them by breaking out those cleaning supplies and tidying up a shared living space. Three, mail a letter to a loved one. It's not a fun feeling to grab the mail and find that it's filled with only bills and spam that need organizing. Brighten someone's day with a card or a letter, something handwritten to a person who might be missing you. Number four, Start a scrapbook. Getting creative is a great way to stay active while you're spending more time at home. But don't forget to consider your loved ones while whipping up some arts and crafts. Go through old photo albums and repurpose some common household items to make the perfect scrapbook for your family. And number five, start recycling. Acts of kindness don't have to be limited to just people. You can also show the environment how much you care. A great way to do your part from indoors is to implement recycling in your home. Counselor's Corner with Mrs. McCullough. Today is day three of the mental wellness challenge. Mental wellness is how we respond to life's ups and downs. It includes how a person thinks, handles emotions, and acts. Today's challenge is a couple of thought-provoking questions to ask yourself. What do you struggle with? when it comes to your mental health? And how can you get more support there? Don't ever be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Have a productive weekend and remember to always be respectful, responsible, and ready.